Let us take a look at this question. Next. Compute the following. A, B minus B, A plus A, B, B, A. We are supposed to add these two matrices and addition of these two matrices is not a difficult thing. It is pretty simple. Addition of these two matrices is pretty simple. What you do is you simply add the corresponding elements. A plus A. B plus B. Minus B plus B and A plus A. This is what you obtain on adding. Simplify it further and what you get over here is this is 2A, this is 2B, this is 0, this is 2A. And yes, that is my answer for this question over here. Part 1 of this second question. Let's take a look at part 2 for this. Once again, we have a 2 by 2 matrix over here and a 2 by 2 matrix over here. Let's add the two matrices and simplify. What do we get? Add the corresponding elements. This element a square plus b square gets added with 2ab. So what do we have is a square plus b square plus 2ab. Next, this b square plus c square, we add 2bc. Next, a square plus c square minus 2ac. And a square plus b square minus 2ab is remaining. This is the last element, right? What does this simplify into? This is a plus b whole square. As you can clearly observe, a square plus b square plus 2ab is simply a plus b whole square. This is b plus c whole square. This is a square plus c square minus 2ac, which is nothing but a minus c whole square. a square plus b square minus 2ab is nothing but a minus b whole square. That's what we obtain. Right? That's a complete answer. Yes, that is the final answer for this question over here. Let us take a look at this third part for second question. So here we have a 3 by 3 matrix and another 3 by 3 matrix. We are supposed to add these two matrices and addition of these two matrices is not difficult at all. We will add the corresponding elements. Let us show it. Minus 1 plus 12. Right? A11 and B11. Then first row, second column, first row, second column. What do we have? First row, second column. This is 4 plus 7 over here. Then minus 6 plus 6. This is what we have over here. Right? What next? This is 8 and 8. Let's add them together. 8 plus 8. This is 5 and 0. Let's add 5 and 0. This is 16 and 5. Let's add 16 and 5. The corresponding elements, that's what we are adding. This 2 and 3 get added. This 8 and 2. This 5 and 4 get added. This is what we have. Right? What else? Simplify this expression. This is 12 minus 1, which is 11. 4 plus 7 is 11. 6 minus 6 is 0. What next? 8 plus 8 is 16. 5 plus 0 is 5. 16 plus 5 is 21. 2 plus 3 is 5. 8 plus 2 is 10. And this is 9. And yes, that is my answer for this question over here. The sum of these two matrices of orders 3 by 3. Let us take a look at this one. Add these two matrices. We have two 2 by 2 matrices. It is simple to add, right? The first A11 gets added with B11. We have a cos square x plus sin square x. Then we have a sin square x plus cos square x. Okay. Then we have a sin square x plus cos square x. Okay, and cos square x plus sin square x over here. That's pretty interesting. Each and every term is cos square plus sin square, cos square plus sin square, cos square plus sin square, cos square plus sin square. And what is cos square x plus sin square x equal to? Yes, we know that. This is equal to 1. So each term in this matrix is equal to 1. In this 2 by 2 matrix, each term is equal to 1. And that is the final answer for this question over here this part this fourth part of